Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist. Uh, today's question comes from Christopher Haggerty Weir. Very short and simple question. Uh, my only question is, why is academia so inefficient? Uh, good question, Christopher. This is something we ask a lot, too. Uh, academia is uh, a broken system. And there are many reasons for this. The, the, the biggest reason, of course, is that there's very little funding in academia. Whether you're a non-STEM PhD or a STEM PhD, there's little funding, which means that you will be paid very, very little, less, far less than, than you are worth. Um, and this is a hard pill to swallow when there are PhDs in industry who are being paid very well uh, for doing meaningful work, uh, too. Um, just as a comparison, if you're a first-year postdoc, you're going to be paid around $43,000 now uh, versus a first-year research scientist in industry. Uh, you're going to be paid around $72,000 uh, a year, right? So uh, you can do meaningful work in both academia and industry, but really funding, salaries, that's the biggest differentiator. And if you can't afford to pay uh, scientists well, uh, you can't expect to keep them because – as a scientist, or again, if you're a non-STEM PhD, whatever it is, if you can't afford to pay PhDs well, it's going to be very hard to keep them because many PhDs have families. They have, uh, you know, their own personal things to worry about. Uh, you know, doing work for the nobility of doing the work is one thing, um, but why not do the noble work, the meaningful work, and be paid well for it in industry? Uh, secondly, there is, uh, you know, the, the the system overall is changing, so the academic career track is changing. And this has led to um, a lot of PIs and a lot of tenured professors staying in their positions much longer than they should, now, which has also led to a lot of PIs and tenured professors having much more power than they should uh, over uh, the, the careers or the fates or going to the next level for postdocs and, and PhD students. Um, and, and most of these people, most of these advisors, supervisors, uh, they've had very little uh, people management training, very little financial management training. Uh, so again, it, this has resulted in, in a broken system. And uh, for a long time, there have been these, these walls between academia and industry. Uh, so many people in academia who have been there, who are lifetime academics, uh, they never developed a network outside of academia, right? I mean, if you talk to your PI, your supervisor, your academic advisor, your thesis committee, very few of them will have any, any connections outside of academia, which means that they're not passing down industry connections or non-academic connections to postdocs or to uh, PhD students. Uh, so it makes it very hard for you to, um, to network outside of academia as well. Uh, so these are some of the reasons that the current academic system is broken. Uh, the key takeaway here is, is that if you're wondering whether or not to transition into industry, um, try to consider these facts. Don't hide from the data, so to speak. Uh, make sure you look at it. Realize that you can do meaningful work outside of academia as well. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.